you're probably like watching this video, you're like, Van, aren't you an, a Windows user? And the answer to that is yes. However, I have gotten sick of Windows. I've had countless problems recently with Windows on my computer. So I've switched to the dark side or the light side, depending on how you look at it. And in this, inside this box is another box. <laughs> it is literally a box in a box. Let's take the box out of the box. And then inside this box, kill a tab. And then I have switched to a Mac. This is the M2 MacBook Air. And it's honestly probably the best MacBook you can buy. This is completely fanless. I have the 256 gigabyte space gray model right here. And so let's just unbox it. Here's the box of the MacBook. On the bottom, it says MacBook Air right here. On the bottom of this, it says eight gigs unified memory, 256 gigabyte SSD, 13 inch MacBook Air with Apple M2 chip. I got the 13 inch Air. I did not want the 15 inch because I'm not a fan of large laptop. I feel like that kind of defeats the point of having a laptop. This is much more compact, but you have a little pull tab here. And then you just peel off this outer plastic wrap. Ooh, look at this plastic. I just pull off the lid. Go. Okay, so on top we have the MacBook itself. Set this off to the side. In here we got a MagSafe, braided MagSafe to uh, USB-C charging cable. And then in here, we got some user manuals and I hope some Apple stickers are in here. Maybe not, I don't know. I don't know if there is Apple stickers included. And then under this, we have a 35 watt charging brick with USB-C. So very little is actually included in the box, but it's enough to get you going. So let's put this all back in here, except for the charger and the actual computer <laughs> down. And I was actually looking at getting a M1 MacBook Air, but I was looking on Best Buy and I found we found this M2 MacBook Air for around the same price. So I figured why not just get the M2 MacBook Air? Anyway, I'm dialing to peel this peel off. So let's do it. That was a satisfying peel. Now I'm used to gaming laptops, but look at how thin it is. It is so thin. I was not expecting it. I knew it would be thin, but I had no idea it'd be this thin. Thin? Thin. And the reason why I went with space gray is because I love the midnight color on these laptops, but I can't stand how many fingerprints they get. They were just fingerprint magnets and they scratch super easily. So I went with space gray. Let's unravel the MacBook or the MagSafe charger. This little plastic guy. Unravel the paper on the charging brick. This is actually all paper, this outer sheathing wrap. So that's good for the environment. And just to correct, make sure it's a 30 watt, not 35. Sorry, it's a 30 watt power adapter. This is how the MagSafe works. If you haven't used it before, it just plugs straight into the side with the magnet. And I'm curious because I also, I have a previous gen 11 inch MacBook Air. So I'm curious, does this actually use the same charger? Not quite. It's very, very slightly a different size. So if you have an older MacBook Air with MagSafe, you can't use it on the M2. Anyway, let's just pop this guy open. Automatically boots up. Let's peel off this paper insert. And it says, hello. It booted up super fast. The M2 chip on these things is pretty impressive from what I heard. So obviously it's running Mac OS Sonoma, I believe. Maybe this is an earlier version of Mac OS. I'm not sure. So let's do English, United States. Accessibility, not right now. It's like my Wi-Fi network, which is not that one. <laughs> I love the keyboard and I already love how big the trackpad is. I don't think it's actually a clicking trackpad. I believe these newer ones are forced touch, which I have never used a forced touch trackpad before, but I will say right off the bat that I actually love this clicking. It actually feels like clicking, but it doesn't have like the depression of the click of the trackpad that a normal, a normal trackpad would have. And so you can do migration assistant. Um, I don't think I want to right now, honestly. So I'm gonna have to stop the recording to actually get this verification code, I realized. Okay, I signed in with my Apple ID. For some reason, the code that should pop up on this iPhone that I'm recording with, it didn't pop up. So I just sent it via text, which worked, but it should have worked. Here's your terms and conditions. I have read them. 
I really haven't, but they're all the same. One thing I don't like about MacBooks is just that they don't open very far. That's as far as the screen opens. Accessibility shortcuts. Uh, no. I don't want accessibility shortcuts. Oh, okay, here we go. I love the keyboard on these Macs. It feels like such a premium machine. It does really give that premium feel. I'm enjoying the Mac, Mac experience, just setting this up. And the fact that this is AirDrop, which will make it so much easier to edit videos on, this is gonna be make editing a lot more enjoyable of a task. And if you already have an iPhone, it's just the ultimate machine because everything syncs over automatically. Make this your new Mac. Uh, dark mode. Yes, please. Figure that out. Touch ID. So this is what I'm most excited about with having the Mac. So touch ID. Continue. It's been a while since I've had a device with touch ID. Uh, I've had face ID phones for the past few years, but having touch ID on a computer is such a clutch feature. Apple Pay? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I will use Apple Pay a lot because I do actually have it set up. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm just surprised at how thin this is. This is a very light computer. It's a 2.7 pounds and it's like 11 millimeters thick. So it is extremely lightweight. And I should have expected that from this computer, but I was just not prepared for it because I've come from gaming laptops. This obviously is not going to replace my gaming laptop entirely, but it is going to serve the editing and video production task of it. So there we go. We're just booted straight into a version of macOS. I'm not exactly sure which one. I'll look, but I want to say it's Ventura. I'm going to say it's Ventura. I don't like that picture. Let's pick a different picture. Let's do a suggestion. Let's just do the eight ball, why not? Okay, here we go. So let's do general. So we are on macOS Ventura. So it's not the latest software update, but that's okay. We can just upgrade to Sonoma and get all the new features. There's stuff in the trash that I don't think I put there. <laughs> so that's interesting. I wonder if it copied over some of my files because I have a profile on that other MacBook, but it didn't actually transfer from the other MacBook. First impressions, love the trackpad, love the keyboard, love touch ID. The screen is a fantastic resolution. It's the perfect size. It looks sharp. I can increase the brightness and it actually gets surprisingly bright, a bit brighter than I was expecting it to be, honestly. And I'm excited to actually edit my first video on this thing. This is gonna be the first video that I edit on this machine. And I'm gonna be using DaVinci Resolve. I've used DaVinci Resolve on my Windows machine and I love using it. It's a great software and it's free. To make my life easy, I'm just going to install DaVinci Resolve on this machine. And that's just gonna make it a lot easier because I've already, I already know how to use the software. So let's see, free download. Uh, Mac OS 10, although I think this is, I think it's different from Mac OS 10. I think it's like 13 or something. And then this stuff doesn't really matter, just enter a random thing. Download the zip file. Did I download it twice? Yeah, let's cancel the one download. I like the animations on Mac OS. It's just such a smooth, silky interface. I actually don't mind the notch. I actually kind of like it. Uh, yeah, you can move that to the trash. But I actually don't mind the notch on the newer MacBooks. I actually kind of think it looks good because the top bar can be in the space that would normally be bezel. How do I access DaVinci? Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve. Why does it show up as a hard drive? Did it not show up or something? Huh, that is weird. I don't want to install it twice. Did it like not install the first time? I've done this on macOS before, so it's not really anything new. I've done this process before. It's just confusing why it didn't show up the first time. That's weird. I am still quite new to macOS and I have to get used to the command C and command V thing, which is gonna take a while to get used to, to be honest. Okay, let's do in DaVinci Resolve 18.6. Not really anything that I would use. Uh, yeah, quick setup. Setup, uh, yeah, just regular HD. Um, that'll work for now. Keyboard, uh, I guess DaVinci Resolve because that's what I've been using. Okay, there we go. It works. See, this is one thing I have to go quit Safari. There we go. Then it actually quits. So yeah, got my timeline. A great editing machine and also just a great web browsing machine and everything. And I'm gonna have to install some more apps on this guy to get it actually up and running. But that was just a quick unboxing video. I just wanted to get this thing set up and I'll make a lot more videos on this computer as I get more f familiar with it. But I'm gonna go play around with DaVinci Resolve on this thing. Thank you guys for watching. See y'all in the next one.